I'm checking out some cool Winter Olympics action as the women's ice hockey. Hypothetically, the US are the number one team in the world, but we'll only know if that's true at the end of the final. It's the same with analytics. Sometimes you want to see whether some data hypothetically will rank in a certain position. Let's see how we can do that in this video. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we're going to take a quick look at hypothetical analytics and ratio analytics. Way, 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 way back in video number one, our first analytic was on ranking rows. The requirement was simple. I need the sequence in which everyone joined the company. We did an analytic using the rank function ordering by higher date to get the higher sequence, something we're very familiar with now. That was easy because we had the data. The data existed and we could rank it. What if we wanted to apply analytic functions to potential data, data that did not exist yet? To best describe that, let's look at an example. What if this was the requirement? I want to know if someone was hired on October 1st, 1981, where would they rank in each department? We have no row that says October 1st, 1981. We want to know if there was a row, where would it rank? It's actually just a variation on the rank function. This is a hypothetical rank. Let's break it down in bits. First of all, we have our rank function, but this time it's different. It takes an argument. It takes a value, a constant expression. In this case, we're passing in October 1st, 1981. And then we're asking, where would that ranking apply within the group defined by our group by statement? So we can see our result there says, if I was hired on October 1st, 1981, then I would be the second most recent hire in department 10. I would be the third most recent hire in department 20 and the sixth most recent hire in department 30. It's a hypothetical ranking should that data come to be. You'll be pleased to know you can apply that same hypothetical function to any of the standard ranking functions. Let's now look at ratios. The requirement might be show me the salary percentage breakdown across all employees. Now we could do this with a normal analytics that we've seen so far, just like most averages being the element divided by the total of all elements. But rather than do that repeatedly, we actually have our own special function to do it called ratio to report. This is a very simple analytic, best described with an example. Very, very simple ratio to report of salary over the entire set answers our requirement. You'll notice there are multiplied by 100 by default, the percentage is between 0 and 1, so 100 puts the percentage in our conventional format. You can run these scripts yourself by clicking on the Live SQL link below. In the next session, we're going to wrap up just a few elements left in the Data Warehousing Guide that pertain to analytics. Yes, we're nearly done with all the analytic options. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.